welcome back welcome if you are new olivia here with olivia's romantic home and in today's video i cannot wait to share with you six diy dollar tree decor crafts so this is episode two in my huge home sweet home series in this series we are going to romance our homes with dollar tree and budget friendly diy decor projects through the holidays after christmas into valentine's day just because it's winter does not mean our homes have to be drab. They can definitely be a fab. If you guys love that kind of video, definitely consider subscribing. Without further ado, go ahead and plug in your glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to take this adorable Dollar Tree Santa mug and some pink blush apple barrel craft paint from Walmart. And I'm just going to do a repaint on this mug. I want it to look kind of vintage chic. So many of you have asked me about my pink Santa mug and I just paint it with some craft paint. I use two layers. So you want to let it dry in between each layer. And then once you have all of the craft paint on, you want to go ahead and add a large heavy layer of mod podge on top of that that's going to seal your paint in and also I want to let you all know do not drink out of this mug also do not put it in the dishwasher this is for decor purposes only <laughs> and then I'm just going to add a light layer of fine glitter to this and voila you have a fabulous vintage style pink Santa mug that only cost you about a dollar and some change with the paint and the Mod Podge. Then I decided to go ahead and take some of this lightweight spackling. I use the DAP brand. They also sell it at Dollar Tree. And I just used a ribbon roll to set on top of this. That way it's removable. I added the spackling inside of an icing cake piping bag. This is spackling. Again, this is for decor purposes only, but I'm just gonna add a swirly little top as if Mr. Santa has a delicious bit of of um, whipped cream on the top of his topper. And then I just added this cute little straw. I find these at Dollar Tree as well. And voila, Mr. Santa has gone uptown chic with his fun and fabulous mug. These are so fun to make. Okay, just a little tip here. I do keep my eye out at all the thrift stores. That is where I find my vintage Santa mugs. You guys could probably find them on eBay as well. Just type in vintage Santa mug. And I've seen some of the stores now also kind of reproducing some of those vintage Santa mugs but how fun and fabulous with his darling little pink candle for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to take this hurricane jar that I found at the thrift store. It was half price and it was only a dollar. What a steal. I'm going to take some of that Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. It's wired so it fits perfectly around the base of this hurricane. I'm just going to hot glue it directly to the glass and then I'm just going to hot glue the other side. I want to doll this up for a fun and fabulous centerpiece that I'm going to share with you all. And then I'm taking this big, beautiful bling brooch jewel. I get these at totallydazzle.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description box for you guys below. They have the most amazing jewels and they're super inexpensive, like $1.50 to $2 a piece. These are wonderful brooches and you'd pay a lot more at the craft store. So here it is. I did pop a candle inside of this, but now I want to share with you guys how we're going to jazz up this little tray. I shared how to chalk paint this tray in the last DIY episode. I'm going to link it for you down below. So we're going to take two Christmas trees from Dollar Tree, some Dollar Tree ornaments, some little poinsettias. I'm going to set my little hurricane vase down inside of this and then I'm just going to add some hot glue to this Dollar Tree styrofoam and I'm going to pop the styrofoam on either side of my little tray. Now it will probably pull up the chalk paint so I may have to dab paint over that if I decide to take this apart but I thought just going for it. You know what do we have to lose? I want to make a beautiful glam centerpiece so here we go so i'm taking those dollar tree christmas trees and i'm just going to pop them into each edge where i added that styrofoam and then this is just a it's a one dollar poinsettia that you get at walmart dollar tree also has poinsettias but i do like these big fluffy ones so i added one to the front and then one to the back on each side and you don't even really have to hot glue them you can just kind of use those christmas tree branches to crisscross over the flowers i think another beautiful flower would be some magnolias if you guys have those in your stash or some beautiful roses really whatever suits your fancy and whatever you already have on hand so i'm taking some of these dollar tree ornaments 
ornaments and I'm just going to string them on this pipe cleaner. This is going to make a tidy little ornament bundle. This is a great way to repurpose and reuse some ornaments that you may already have in your stash. And I love these glittery and bejeweled ornaments that Dollar Tree carries. They look so fun and fabulous. And then I'm taking some of those Dollar Tree poinsettias and I'm just going to pop them in in between the ornament and I am adding a tiny dab of hot glue. Not too much because when I'm done with this I want to be able to take it apart and do something else that's fun and fabulous as well. I did add it to each side. I want both sides to kind of match. Now I want to share how I'm going to repurpose this Christmas bow. I'm going to take the peppermint candy part out. I have the base of this bow which is just a burlap ribbon. Dollar Tree sells it. I got it on Black Friday at Michael's for super duper cheap. I'm just making a quick Olivia bow. You take that ribbon. You're going to loop it over on itself six times. I'm also going to leave my big bow video down below if you guys need help making bows. I'm going to tie this off in the center with a pipe cleaner. I didn't notch the center um, because I want to be able to repurpose and reuse this ribbon. So I am going to go ahead and give it a good little tidy fluffing. It's going to drop down into the center of that floral um, on the Christmas tree over there. Now I'm just taking this silver ribbon. Again, I had this on hand and I'm just adding several loops to it. Make a smaller Olivia bow. You're going to pinch it in the center and just add it on to where that pipe cleaner is. Give it a tidy little tug there and then you can go about fluffing your sweet little bow. So you're going to take your loops and fluff them out. Now this is the secret to my bows. A nice good fluffing. Because we didn't notch the center though, don't pull too hard on those loops or they will pull out. So I am just going to go ahead and take that pipe cleaner and I'm going to twist tie that on over here where that tree gets kind of scrawny. We are going to cover that up and make it fabulous. So just twist tie it on with that pipe cleaner. Dovetail those ends. That means cut upwards and you're going to give that boutique a gorgeous finish loving this. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the bow on the other side. And then I wanted to share these totally dazzled jewels with you guys up close. Oh my goodness. Love these. Decided to pop a couple in to each side of my floral arrangement just for the extra sparkle and shine. Just because the holidays are drawing to a close does not mean we cannot still be sparkly in these glam winter wonderland months. And then I did find this candlestick at the thrift store. It just happened to fit underneath that hurricane, which I was super excited about. So I popped the hurricane back over the candlestick to give it some height and some drama. I went ahead and added that candle to the top. And this is just that candle that we chalk painted again in that last DIY episode. Definitely catch that episode if you guys want to catch up on my home sweet home goodness. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to repaint this beautiful sparkling Christmas deer. I want to give her a fresh coat of white paint with this Waverly chalk paint. Now I really love this Waverly chalk paint. Um, it is so full coverage and it just works really great and it doesn't seem to chip off very fast either. So I'm really giving her a good coating here. I'm going to link some of this chalk paint in my Amazon store, but you guys can also find it at Walmart if you want to look there. So I'm just chalk painting kind of in an upward direction. I'm really giving her a good coat. These deer are really easy to paint. And then once I got to her antlers, I decided that she needed to go a little bit more dolled up and glam for the springtime and winter months to come. And so I gave her some pink antlers, which I thought was super adorable. And then before the paint started to dry, I went ahead and added some glitter over that. So I just took this extra fine iridescent glitter. I had some left over on my glitter paint and I'm just going to give her a nice 
a little dusting here. I like to do this. Now you could wait for the paint to dry. I'm a little bit impatient. And here she is. I did even add one of those totally dazzled gems. This is one of the smaller ones. When you buy packs of their jewels, they come with all different sizes in the variety pack, which I love because then you can add bigger ones or smaller ones to whatever projects. You guys can also dig into your stash and use broken pieces of jewelry in this same way. So for the next DIY, I'm gonna use some of that spackling. Again, you guys can find this spackling at Dollar Tree. I buy the bigger container because I use a lot of it and I bought this last spring and I'm still using it. So it lasts quite a bit. Um, you do have to put the lid on though every time you use it. So I went ahead and mixed in some pink paint. That was just that blush pink craft paint. And then I'm using this knife. This is just a butter knife. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna to begin to spread it. So you kind of just spread this like you're spreading butter on toast and it does take a little bit of working with but it's super fun my daughter has done these she actually does a better job than I do because I think she has more patience than I do it only gets tricky when you're kind of trying to get to the end um, but you can let it dry and then add just a tiny bit of layer over it if you need to so then I'm going to take some more of that spackling and I'm going to go ahead and add it into a piping bag and then I want to take and I want to pipe it along the edge of the top. Now the speckling is a little bit difficult. It doesn't pipe out like frosting would, but I think it comes out super adorable. And for me, it's realistic enough. I piped all the way around the edges and then I gave it a nice dollop in the center. And then I did pipe around the sides as well. It would have helped if my uh, plate that I was using was flat. So just a little note for next time, but I think it's looking fun and fabulous and gorgeous for this fun little winter glam display now I did decide to add that little sparkling heart and then some of these cute little leaves so dig into your craft stash and I found these little berries at the thrift store they're little raspberries I decided to take the heart out because I want to do a Valentine's Day cake for you guys but how gorgeous is this I think this looks so realistic and delicious but again this is for decor purposes only the only best cake that you guys can have that's calorie free is right here how fun is this I love adding this to little vignettes I use these all over the place these fun little fake cakes are just so gorgeous and delightful and they're fun to do with your friends or your kiddos as well For the next DIY, while I have my spackling out, I decided to make a faux Starbucks drink. So again, I'm using this spackling and I put some of the spackling in the piping bag. But to start out with, I'm going to take this Starbucks drink cup. This was one of my niece's drink cups. We had this over Christmas. We all got a Starbucks and I decided to save this one to do a DIY with you guys. So I just hot glued the lid. I flipped it upside down and hot glued it. That way it had something for the spackling to kind of sit down into and then I'm taking my piping bag with the spackling inside and I'm just gently beginning to make kind of some whipped cream swirls and if you mess up you can use your fingers to kind of press it down it kind of tends to get a little bit stuck of course my spackling probably has seen better days I may need to get some new spackling by springtime but I am going to go ahead and just pipe some more icing at the top and give it a nice tidy swirl and I did go ahead and make it work I think it looks adorable oh my goodness I love making these faux Starbucks drinks how cute is this and these are a great gift for a teen I think or they're just great to put into a little vignette next to your fake cake so fun and fabulous and let me know should I add some sprinkles or a little dusting of pink now the spackling does have to wait overnight to dry so I wasn't able to really add any paint colors to this but it should be dry overnight if you guys do want to add some pink I may add Add some pink paint to mine. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take one of those Dollar Tree chargers, some Mod Podge, and then a paper doily. So they come in big packs at Dollar Tree. You can also find them at Walmart. And I'm just going to take the Mod Podge and I'm going to add a layer to the plate. And I want to just Mod Podge this doily to this plate so I have a nice fancy little plate for all my goodie treats to set on. And I will tell you, I should have Mod Podged underneath um, where that doily was because then I had to add a bunch of extra 
extra glue. So this was a little bit rumpled in the center. I will forewarn you. You could cut your doily probably to make it fit better, but I just went for it with tons and tons of glue. When in doubt, add glue and glitter, right guys? Comment and let me know if that's your name of the game. When in doubt, add glitter. I know some of you guys have said when in doubt, add an Olivia bow, and that's definitely true as well. I did go ahead and also add another doily to the center to kind of cover up my bit of rumpling. Also comment and let me know if you're amazing at Mod Podge and you have any tips for me. I'm not a professional Mod Podger, but I think it's fun to work with and I think I made a darling little tray regardless of the tiny little bumps. Remember crafting doesn't have to be perfect. I always try to keep that in mind as I'm crafting away. I love this twisted peppermint candle. I have to tell you guys it smells so delicious and fresh and fun. I found it at Bath and Body Works. Always use your coupons if you go to Bath and Body Works and get their candles. But how delightful is this? Now I have to ask you guys, what was your favorite DIY in this video? And will you be recreating them? How excited are you for this new Home Sweet Home series? I'm so excited to share with you guys all of my ideas for the coming winter, Valentine and spring season. Oh my goodness. And I'm just excited too to relax and enjoy the rest of the holidays. It has been such a wonderful time and I'm so blessed to have y'all here. If you're new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. And it is a blessing again and an honor to have you all here. And for everybody that comes back and comments and loves on me, thank you. I couldn't be here without you guys and you're making my journey amazing. I hope I can do this forever. Just craft and share my ideas with you guys because honestly, some days I think I'm having more fun than should be allowed. And if you're going through these holidays and you need a hug to your heart, I'm going to hug your heart right now. I know the holidays aren't always easy for everybody and I think everybody has a little bit of something that they're going through. So I love you and I'm hugging your heart and I just want you to keep putting one foot in front of the other and look to every next day. Um, if God gives us a new breath, it's a gift, I think. That's kind of my mantra the older I get. Okay, guys, here is my thrift store outfit of the day. I just have this really pretty kind of oversized top and it comes a little bit longer. I have it paired actually with some Walmart leggings. I got them on Black Friday. They were two for $10 and they're super comfy and cozy. And then I have just some little Walmart black boots paired with it. I'll try to link similar items in my Amazon store if you guys want to try to find some of the outfits that I'm wearing. Um, I believe this was a CK Calvin Klein. I got it at the Goodwill. And then also I found these really pretty earrings. I think that they were brand new. They came on like a little store tab. I don't know if the Goodwill got a different, like a little donation or whatnot. And then if you guys can see my little thrift store, um, bracelet there. So there you guys have it. I think that this is a really fun way to go for winter to wear an oversized shirt, tie it um, just to kind of like pull it in and give you a little bit of shape. And this is also kind of a pale pink color, which is nice to give you guys some color for the winter months. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor party. Again, this is episode two in my huge Home Sweet Home series. I'm gonna link the first episode down below, as well as my huge I Love Christmas series that we did. We crafted over 100 Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs. We decorated five different trees. So if you guys need to get some cozy Christmas crafting ideas, definitely click on the huge I Love Christmas series. I'm going to link it down below as well. Now, if you guys love to share pictures of your home decor, your crafty decor projects, I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. Pop over there. I do condensed little videos of some of my DIY projects, and it's just a fun little crafty mama community over there. Everybody is so kind and sweet. I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. I also post videos over there of some of my crafty decor projects, and I do a behind-the-scenes good morning coffee with you guys every morning and some of my crazy crafty mama little life goings on on my story. So thank you guys again for being here. Subscribing to my YouTube channel is totally free. If you click that subscribe button, it will just update you every time I post a new video, especially if you click that bell. The bell is the notification button. <laughs> so thank you guys again. I am hugging you all so tight. I'm praying for you. I hope you have a gorgeous, blessed day. Remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to one another. Until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.